this is going to be the uh, lower first molar or mandibular first lower molar and then we'll wax up a coping so that we save some time in this demonstration and we start layering some wax on top of the coping Waxing up the mesial buccal cusp. Adding some wax on the marginal ridge. Now add some wax to create the central buckle cusp. So while the wax is uh, cooling on the buckle side, we kind of uh, add some new wax around the lingual cusp tips. Okay, so we can move around by adding a minimal increment. So I added also on the distal buckle cusp, which is a small cusp. So we now have completed, let's say, uh, putting the wax on the buckle side. Proceed to the distal uh, marginal ridge and continue to complete the occlusal table, filling in on the lingual surface too.
proceed to make a little bit of a uh, occlusal surface addition. And fill up all those uh, area that are pretty much gr dark green in color. So we do a little bit of carving now, so uh, it might be high in occlusion and all we have to do is uh, close the articulator and see if there's any high marks. So let's just uh, create some of the excess away, carve some of the excess wax away. And bear in mind we have to keep a certain proportion. where each uh, calf should be. So on top of the coping, we are putting some gray wax. And when we close down into a glue, we'll be able to see uh, whether it's high or low, or we have to fill in uh, some with some more wax. that is being removed and we're gonna start to add uh, to the proximal contact areas fill up some of the margins there So keeping the proper proportion, we'll be able to uh, do the occlusal detail well. If the proportion is off, then it will look a little bit awkward. So now we are kind of clean up just the slope of the triangular edge on each of the uh, uh, basic cusp. And here we use 
loosely cover to kind of touch up the slope and the curvature. Gentle carving. So here we have the more or less completed uh, lower first molar.